Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to mark an image or annotate an image in AppSheet. As you can see in this example, there are some markings inside or within the photos. So let's say I'm going to add a new inspection here and I'm going to select a location. Then under this inspection, there are photos needs to be attached. Let's say I'm, I'm, I am inspecting a house or a property. So here, I can just click this camera icon. If I'm using a mobile, this will open the camera. Since I am right now in desktop, so it will open a file explorer. Let's say I'm going to add a photo. So here, there are options to use. So which color I would like to use to highlight the or to use as a highlighter in this image. Let's say I'm going to use green. I'm going to mark this here. Then I'm going to mark it here. Then here, I can just say this is broken kitchen pipe, for example. Then save. I can add another one because I'm using here a parent and child table which is connected by a reference type. Let's say I'm going to add another one. Let's say this time I'm going to use red. I'm going to mark this. Let's say this is main door broken handle. All right, then I'll save. So here you can see that there are markings. So I will show you how to do this, which is very simple actually. Let's go to the app sheet. So in app sheet, all you have to do, guys, is just go to the uh here so the photo lives in the photo table the inspection photo so all you have to do is just in the type you make it as drawing so if you're going to use an image which is usually used if uh, you're just uploading a photo directly from your camera see what will happen is This will not allow you to edit any image or you need to edit first the image then upload it in AppSheet. So there is a tool in AppSheet or a way to do that. So all you have to do is just use the drawing. So when you use a drawing, you can upload the photo at the same time. You can also mark the photo accordingly. And also, you can use some um, multiple selections of colors here, which one you would like to use. All right. So I hope you learned something in this video. And if you learned something in this video, don't forget to subscribe or comment if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video.